You need to know exactly what to do to get clients, who to sell to, where to go, and what to say. Because without clients, you won't have a business. Not to mention when that frees you from your corporate job and gives you the freedom, fulfillment, and control you crave. Hi, I'm Louisa Joe, and this channel is all about actionable business advice so you can build your own profitable business and go from employee to entrepreneur and beyond. Because I truly believe anyone can build a business if you're willing to do the work. Let's start with the first part of the sentence. Who will you sell to? A common place to start is who you used to be before you figured out the solution that your business helps people with. Looking at myself, I had a good job that I'd worked my butt off for, but I wanted more. While it took me a few years, I worked hard to build my first business to six figures before I left my job. After that, people started asking me for help doing the same thing. Fast forward almost 10 years and here we are. Ask yourself, what is my ideal client struggling with? Who are they? What characteristics define them? And what do they ultimately want that I can help with? Because if you don't know who your clients are, you won't be able to connect with them in a way that appeals to them. And as a result, they won't be interested in buying from you. But just knowing who your customer is, isn't enough. How will you find your customer so they know your business even exists? No one wants to waste time or effort struggling to find clients. In order to find lots of new customers with the least amount of work, here's one of my favorite strategies. Think about it like this. If you had to give news to everyone in your neighborhood, how would you do it? Would you go from door to door for every single person? Or would you go to the next neighborhood association meeting or neighborhood party where everyone is gathered so that you can reach as many people at once as possible? The same idea applies to business. You could try and reach one person at a time by building your own social media account, for example, but one of the fastest ways to start getting clients is by figuring out these gathering places your ideal clients go to online. I'm talking about podcasts, publications, forums, online groups, groups, or other businesses that provide complementary services to yours. Essentially, people with businesses that have built an audience already of your ideal clients. I like to think of them as gatekeepers because that's what they are. Instead of having to find your clients one by one, you can reach a lot of them at once via these gatekeepers. But why would these gatekeepers want to help you and let their audience that they have worked so hard to build know about you? First, because you're not a direct competitor. You offer a service that's complementary to theirs, so there's no harm. More importantly, because you offer a complementary service, you can offer valuable content that they themselves might not be an expert in, but that their audience might find helpful. For example, let's say you're a health coach for busy professionals. You wouldn't look for gatekeepers who are also health coaches. Instead, you would look for career coaches, entrepreneurs, and productivity coaches. And that's just a few examples. And you would offer to share health coaching tips with their audience via a podcast interview, email, video, guest post article, or whatever their preferred format is in return for them sharing that with their audience so they can learn about you. And if you're wondering how to find these gatekeepers, I like to use good old Google, but if you need some help or don't have the time, here's what I recommend. There are a lot of people you can hire on platforms like Upwork and Fiverr who are very good at doing this type of research for you. Plus they're fast and have very reasonable rates. Either way, you now know how to find your ideal clients. So high five on that. But knowing where to find your ideal clients is not enough. Because if you're not sharing a message that your ideal clients care about, it doesn't matter how many of them know about you, they still won't be interested. The key is to make sure what you have to say will actually resonate with your ideal clients. Time for an unwisdom alert. You may have even experienced two common mistakes that waste your time and prevent you from making progress in your business. And they are this wrong advice. If you're sharing purely motivational or feel good content, Sure, that feels good and people may even like it, but it's like fluff. You forget it as soon as it's out of sight. That won't help you get clients. Or maybe you're giving random advice related to your business and it's good, but it's not speaking to the things your ideal clients care about. It doesn't matter how good it is because they don't care. If you're not talking about what your ideal clients care about, nothing else matters. You won't have their attention and they definitely won't buy from you. But now that you know what not to say, what will actually resonate and grab their attention? The answer lies in knowing what your ideal clients care about. That means what are they struggling with and how does that make them feel? What do they want? 
What do they think their obstacles are to getting it? And how can you help them overcome those obstacles? That's what you want to talk about. And anything you say, whether it's introducing yourself or sharing how you can help your ideal clients or sharing your experience should relate back to it. If you need, you can always refer back to this video as an example of how to do this. But how do you bring it together into that one sentence plan that I promised? We're going to get to that in just one second. But first, let's talk about how often to use this plan. To not get overwhelmed worrying about how often you have to do your marketing so you can focus on getting out there and getting found by your ideal clients, follow this marketing plan every day, at least every weekday. Let's bring it together in one sentence. Then I have one more very important tip for you if you want to make more sales. But first, let's go over the sentence. With it, you won't have to feel overwhelmed anymore with how to market yourself. I'm going to sell to whom, by marketing where, every day, and I'm going to speak to at least one of these things my ideal clients care about. You can feel confident knowing you've got this because now you know exactly what to do. You have a solid plan you can follow, which means you can dream big and make it happen. But here's that super important tip. After you get your ideal client's attention, they're going to want to know how they can buy from you. You want a strong offer that they'll be interested in buying, otherwise all your great marketing will go to waste. There's a key step in creating a coaching package that your ideal clients love to buy. Check it out in this next video. I will see you there.